terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. But given what we have learned in the last weekly, this man must be impeached. Let me tell you why. This is going to give them the power to dig deep here. It's one thing, and it's it's a bad enough thing if the president is corrupt and has sold influence to our enemies. Okay, that is that is really, really bad. But the reason that we need to impeach Joe Biden, even though that hurts us in our quest for the presidency, right? Because we want to run against Joe. Joe is an incredibly weak candidate, not just because he's profoundly corrupt and owned by our enemies, um, but he can barely walk up or down a staircase. I mean, they're having to shorten the stairs. He can't make it, right? This is who we... He's taking the back entrance to Air Force One now. Yeah. Did you see the European diplomats the last couple of days saying how worried they are about Joe, how he's just so out of it? I mean, they're openly talking about this. In Europe, right? This is who we want to run against. But here's why we need to impeach him, because that is going to give us inquiry powers. It's going to put those inquiry powers under a microscope, because what we have here, Lee, is the FBI actively obstructing investigations into Joe Biden's crimes. Mm -hmm. Obstruction may sound like a familiar charge to you. That's because they keep charging Trump with it. But they are the ones. Obstruction is not just a bad thing and get in the way. And unethical. No, obstruction is in itself a felony level crime. And the FBI clearly committed obstruction here. So in impeaching Joe Biden and going down the obstruction path, we are going after the FBI that has deliberately installed this man in power. By committing crimes themselves to obstruct the investigation. And as we get more details of the FBI's obstruction here, it is truly shocking. Because we learn overnight that the Pittsburgh office of the FBI had taken that form, that FB 1023 right, yeah. that lays out the $10 million that Joe and Hunter took and didn't just take in bribes that qualified Joe for impeachment. No, no, no. Laundered that money. Hunter did not report it to the IRS. That is felony money laundering. That is the pro. I don't know where our side is on this. Explain this. That 10 mil or the five mil that went to Hunter, the other five went to Joe. Okay, that's not in their tax returns, that it was not reported to the IRS. This is a slam shut case. This is so easy. Okay, so when we find out the Philadelphia office of the FBI corroborated that 1023 had corroborated, in other words, gotten evidence, hey, you know, the 1023, the media is running around saying, well, this is just some guy, you know, it's just an informant of the FBI. Yeah, he might be highly credible in the media and the FBI might have paid him $100,000 for the information. But, you know, it's just hearsay. Well, no, then we find out overnight the FBI out of Philly corroborated some of this form. Yeah. And what did the FBI out of Philly do? Well, they didn't have jurisdictional authority. They couldn't charge him. They wanted to, but they could not because they didn't have jurisdiction. So what did they do? They sent it. Uh, to the New Hampshire district, where who? Weiss, the incredibly, incredibly corrupt prosecutor, obstructed justice, buried it, and the FBI and the Department of Injustice hid it from the IRS agents who were investigating the tax fraud. That is classic obstruction. No. The crime they keep charging Trump with, Mm -hmm. that is felony level obstruction. This is the biggest scandal, bar none, in U.S. history. Mm -hmm. By the time we're we're done here, it's going to be the biggest scandal in the world because of the Wuhan angle. Mm -hmm. The fact that Hunter was running the bioweapons money. I'm not going to get back into that today. But, 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 But that bioweapons money that is so clearly documented... In the UK Daily Mail's reporting going back to 2022 is why we must impeach Joe. We have to go down this path to get the people in the FBI that made this money laundering possible. We need to understand why they are protecting Hunter. And Lee, the most critical date, I know so many of you use me for show prep. Okay, please steal this. I don't even care if you credit it to me. What our side needs to understand in how we report this and how we look at this, I hope to God Comer has figured this out, is one date, 2018. 2018. The FBI did all of these cover-ups, Lee, in 2018. Mm -hmm. Why is that significant? Because Joe Biden would not announce for more than seven months that he was going to run. Nobody was really sure he was old, you know? 
Uh, why was the FBI covering up for Joe Biden? Well, if you ask somebody that on our side or even a typical talk radio listener who's very educated, they'll say, oh, it's because he's the Democrats candidate. No, not, no, not he was point. not. No. They could have sent him to prison. In prison, it wouldn't have affected the 2020 um, election one iota. Wouldn't have been any skin off the Democrats' nose. They protected him. Why? It is not because he was their nominee. Remember, Lee, when he first came out uh, in 2019, he announced yep. he was running. What a disaster that was yep. because the Bernie bros immediately went after him. Mm -hmm. uh, women said he raped me. Yep. He groped me. These were Democrat women, right. right? And he just spun out in the polls. And he was a bottom feeder for almost all of 2019. He was not their nominee. He wasn't even close. The FBI was not protecting him because he was their nominee. That did not happen. You can tell that from the calendar. So why? Why has so much energy and political capital been expended protecting one lovable crackhead? <laughs> you get the answer to that question, and you're going to have, I guarantee you, the biggest political scandal in world history. And it's going to tumble right down that hill into the rest of the Democrat Party. We're going to find out. You know, you know, there's one thing that the Ukrainians, Lee, and the Russians actually agree upon, which is kind of funny. Okay. The Russians held a press conference explaining about how Hunter, Nancy Pelosi, and all of them laundered money through Ukraine and funded the bioweapons labs. And our media gaffed it off and mm -hmm. went, oh, it's just Russia. Well, you know, it's funny. The Ukrainian parliamentary members, like our Congress, the equivalent of our Congress members, had essentially the same press conference. Yeah. Yep. You've saying talked about the that same numerous thing. times. Yeah. Yep. So we're not allowed to believe Russia, even when they show up with the money transfers and the details. Can we are we allowed to are we allowed to believe Ukraine when they say the same thing? And they're saying, yeah, Hunter and Joe did it, but so did Kerry, so did Schumer, so did Pelosi. The party is robbing the Ukrainian people blind and they're laundering the money out of Ukraine. Are we allowed to believe that? I thought we were supposed to believe that. When when Ukraine and Russia are saying the same thing, this scandal is so deep and wide. We must impeach him because we got to get the rest of the Democrat Party and the FBI who let this go down. Tara is swatted. Hear the Tara Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.